Hello, welcome back to another video. Uh, in this video, I will be going over Lua meta tables. So, what are meta tables? In Lua, meta tables are tables containing meta methods that you can use to manipulate how tables slash easy data work. So, a couple of meta methods include underscore underscore index, underscore underscore new index, and underscore underscore two string. So ex an example of a meta table would look like a table right here with these functions underscore underscore index, new index, and two string, which are again all meta methods. There are more, but these are quite common. And so we have here this function if index is chicken, then return you cannot get chicken. And then um, if it's not, it'll just skip this and raw get self index. So self right here, this is the table that you are um, you know, interacting with. So if I do table.chicken right here, this is what would happen. It would call underscore underscore index if it has a meta table. And right here, this will return you cannot get chicken even if if like table.chicken is high, it'll still return this because of the meta table. Now for new index, we have the same thing, but we have value. So if an index is chicken, then we're going to return an error saying that you cannot set chicken. And then, otherwise, if this doesn't happen, then raw set um, the index to value of self. So right here, this this would error because it doesn't let me set chicken. It would right here like an error saying you cannot set chicken. And then we have underscore underscore two string which right here it'll return either self.name if it's not nil or like false or a table so if I right here this will just print table but if I set like name to cool table then this would return table and the you know, same thing for two string but print it will automatically two string it um, okay, so there is a way to get and set chicken in the example above, th though, and that is to use the raw get and raw set functions. So raw get table chicken and raw set table chicken value. Um, also keep in mind that the above functions raw get and raw set only work on tables and they do not work on user data. But what about in Roblox? In Roblox, all instances are user data with meta tables, including game. So you can use this to manipulate how the game works, such as logging remotes being called. So a remote spy. But this right here is an example of how to make a remote spy in Synapse by hooking games underscore underscore name call meta method with the hook meta method function. So I'm going to put this in Synapse and show you how it works in game. Okay, so I'm going to test game real quick. And I have the script in Synapse here. I'm going to execute it and you can see uh, if I chat something, it'll say same message request, fire server call with args. Oh, um, I executed this earlier. Let me rejoin. Okay, I rejoins. Um, I'm gonna execute it once, and you see if I say something in chat, it'll say same message request, fire server call with args. Uh, there. Um, I could add, like, instead of doing two string self, oops. I can put self get full name, which it'll do like game that replicate disorder, default chat system, chat events, dot signature request. Um, but this is enough. You can add that if you want to make a remote spy. And all the second arg. And then if I click on this button, these aren't args. This is just what the game prints. Um, but remote event fire server call with args. There are no args again. So yeah, that is. A video explaining how meta tables work in Lua. Make sure if you enjoyed the video to like it, and if you want more videos like this, subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video.